Hey y'all, welcome back. Let's continue the tour. All you gotta do is say so this land has so many little secret dips and secret spots. I really, really like that. I love how they've meshed like the cemetery with like these beautiful ethereal spaces. I think that is so clever because it gives you a bit of spookiness, but then it allows that to subside before you get into the next spot that could be spooky or not. It's like you just never really know. So like this space has a really nice like enchanted feeling to it. And I think that's so pretty. I love the colors, how everything goes from the deep blacks and the smoky grays to a really nice pop of orange you got you had the reds um in the cemetery as well but now we get into a lot of pinks a lot of fall colors and i think that is very very clever it kind of takes your mood up and down and we love a good mood changer we love a good mood changer there's nothing wrong with that i love the trees i love the beautiful beach scenery i love how the water is pretty but it's not calm it looks very scary it doesn't look fun to be in or safe to be around and i like that i like that for the feel of it because they have this really like safe space on this whole um this whole dock but then when you look out it's like yeah but you take one too many steps and things ain't about to be so safe for you. It looks kind of creepy. It does. So when I panned out, I saw so many different spaces that I wanted to hopefully figure out how to get to so that I could show y'all. And so I love that I am coming up on some of these spaces. Sometimes they'll have like things like this, but it's nothing to actually go into so i like that they have these builds and you actually can go into them as well so from here on out when i do these videos two parts is the most that we will have a video be if it absolutely must be two parts I'm not gonna do three or four parts i don't think i've ever done a video that was four parts but i do i regret it no but it did just give me that realization that yeah hey we want to do something a little bit different i don't want everything to be like a bunch of multiple parts this is really pretty again it has like that creepy water feel to it the waterfalls are very beautiful but as we know waterfalls are they're pretty to look at that's about it that's about it they are nothing to be played with i do love this piano i think it's really really pretty i love the purples but the purples are giving me like poisonous for some reason it reminds me of i don't know if you guys have seen y'all so the video cut off um i was talking about the show sweet tooth on netflix i'm really just outdone right now but on the show it's like this virus going around and so when they walk through like a field of purple flowers it's like the quickest way to like get sick and perish and that's what this vibe is giving me with the purple flowers it's looking very beautiful but still very unsafe at the same time i don't know why this video cut off when i tell y'all i did this whole video I did the whole video. Do you guys hear me? The whole entire video. And when I went to stop the recording, it said recording started. I said, and I know you're fucking lying. And it said, no, I'm not. We didn't get anything past this point. So I came back because we are going to see this. We are going to see this. I want you guys to see this place, this space and this place. So. I'm just gonna it's still beautiful I mean and yeah, no, I was just gonna go from there so yeah so I really do love how oh he's crying oh so um I really do love how this space is decorated everything is so beautiful it still has that beautiful scary vibe to it where the waterfalls are so beautiful but then it's like it still has like this creepy aspect to it so she has these lanterns and the smoke that's coming out it looks more of like an essence so i feel like it does have a bit of a um 
ethereal type feel to it but also a little spiritual as well as a little a little um creepy and i like that you know it's some it's some about the mix of emotions that i do love i love how they put everything together where they have the different elevations and so it's like everything doesn't have something on every elevation but every elevation is still beautiful so like look at this the two hands very nice very very nice y'all i am so i'm a little irritated i, I i'm not gonna yeah i'm not gonna yeah i did this whole video this has never happened before let me just say that so i went in and i moved the indicator because clearly um i did something crazy where i accidentally shut it off um there's never been a time where i have recorded for too long and then it shut off i don't even think that that's possible with this so somehow some way it cut off it had to have been something that i did um unknowingly but you know hey it's all right you live and you learn not a big deal but i am a little irritated just a smidget irritated because I don't, I just feel like when I, I know that when I do these videos, they come from a very authentic space. And so to go back through them, it's like, okay, I'm going back through them. I've seen these spaces already, but the things that I was talking about, I'm not going to repeat them because they were for that moment. And that moment has passed because the video stopped recording. So we're just gonna create new ones and it's nothing wrong with that. So this is the castle. Um, it was very tricky to get up here. When you guys come here, you are definitely gonna have to figure it out yourself because I really don't have a way to direct you because it was a lot of twists and turns and I really found it on accident, keeping it a thousand. Look at how pretty this is though. When I tell y'all the shared environment, they did their big one, look at this. They did their big one with this. So well thought out when I tell you. Y'all, y'all know. Y'all know it never, it don't never take much for me to get to gushing about the second life creators. Look at how scary that is. It's like you fall in air. You're gonna pass out before you hit the water just from fear alone. So you don't even have to worry about being frightened. Let me go up in here. I try my best to compose myself when it comes to gushing about the Second Life creators, but I never do a very good job. Um, I was asking y'all, are these candelabras? That's what I was saying in the, the part that wasn't recorded. It's giving candelabra, but I don't know if it's like a specific type of something that would make it a candelabra. It, it, it looks like a candelabra, just like something a little different. When I tell y'all, every single time that i come to the land these lands i am always just like so thankful and grateful for all of the creators um in second life just for being them you know shout out to them all the time always in all good ways um so this space i was talking about how i really liked how they managed to mesh the creepy with the beautiful and i do like that so they have this huge creepy castle but then on the inside they're very pretty things and pastel things and then you have the little marshmallow ghost that looks like a mini badini but he's fluffy looking so it's like that's not scary at all and so they'll have like the little treats the little snacks and things like that which just looks like this is just like a chill spot that people were at just within the castle i love these little blueberry fluffy they look like little pillows just everything is so cute just this beauty in this spooky creepy castle and i really love how they were able to mesh that together look at this yummy shake that i got though from hangry it is the cocoa puffs one absolutely delicious so yeah when i came here um when i came into this space well when we came into this space you know you guys were here it just wasn't getting recorded right um just seeing all of these pastel colors i really really enjoyed the transition from the creepy stairwell to all of this just like whimsical beauty it does have a bit of a fairy tale essence to it and i really do like that i really really do when i tell you the way that 
the creators have recent, not even recently, all the time, they manage to mesh multiple aesthetics together. I feel like that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing to constantly be able to very seamlessly change the feel and emotions of a space but staying within that same space. I feel like that is an art that a lot of people are not realizing that um, it's something that it's not, it's not easy to do. I love that in Second Life, so many people have come um, into this space and just really honed in on their creativity and kind of stepped outside of the box on things that they probably would have never wanted to do in outside of this virtual world. So you'll have people who have never tried their hands at meshing and they'll like, they'll get so much support from people. I, I'm on the Second Life side of Facebook all the time i don't even access my real life facebook because it's i don't i close my account keeping it a thousand it was just too much going on but on the on the second life side it's such a community like people talk about the second life is messy and things like that. yeah it can be it can be but it also has a beautiful unity to it that i think people just don't really talk about oh i'm not doing no more stairs I'm not doing no more stairs. I went up like 15 flights of stairs to get to here. What door did I not go into? I didn't go into this one. So let's see what's over here. People just, oh, I forgot this is out here. Okay, all right. I'm like, uh-uh, because we, the last time I went through this, this door first, I was like, uh-uh. This thing is so creepy to me. It doesn't matter how many times I see it, it's still gonna creep me out. But it's like, I'll see people come together to really help each other out when it comes to them being in like a stump creative uh creative creatively wise and so i've seen people get on the facebook get on facebook and they're like oh i'm trying to mesh this item and i'm having issues meshing this item can anyone help me and tell me what i could be doing wrong and people will help them they'll come out they'll have a whole conversation about it in the chat and people will come to a resolve they'll say oh i tried this out and it worked people are like oh your pictures are so nice what settings are you using and so it's like people come together being creatives and i feel like that is just not talked about enough in second like people always well not always but a lot of times people like to hone in on like the messy side of second life and i feel like any space where a multitude of people dwell you will have spaces that can become messy um situations that can become messy that's just the nature of the beast of humans and so i feel like it's it's so many more things that you can kind of hone in on as opposed to that and people just i in my opinion i don't feel like people really take the time to do that i feel like they rather stick with the messy because the messy is it's more sensational and i guess it's just it's more to talk about than as opposed to saying like this went very very well because you know you don't have to talk about the great things for a very long time but you can kind of elaborate on negative things more in my opinion so i just i've seen so many different times where people have come together within second life just being pure creatives like this someone was like you know what i'm gonna make some pretty mesh diamonds people are gonna do with them what they will i'm just gonna make them and then i'm gonna allow people to use them and be creative in whatever way they want to be creative somebody say you know what i'm gonna make a cool phone and i'm just gonna put it out and people are gonna buy it maybe not but i'm just gonna put it out and they're gonna do with it what they will and so i just feel like understanding that you can come into this space and be as creative as you want to be and there will always be people that will be receptive to what you are doing is an absolutely amazing thing and i really hope that a lot of the people who are so creative in second life feel more comfortable transitioning these skills and assets into real life and being able to really do even more with them. A lot of people do very well just within Second Life. And so if they ever decided to come and step outside of Second Life, they could do even more, even if it was just teaching people how to do what they do. I feel like 
being able to be creative like this in Second Life is a lifelong skill that will always be needed. I don't think people pay attention to how much time in Second Life we spend being creative. Everyone in Second Life, although they come from different walks of life, from different spaces in life, from different times in life, one thing that we all have in common is being creative. We are constantly, constantly being creative in Second Life, whether it's showing people how you get dressed or picking out some cute shoes or showing some earrings that you bought or some hair that you bought or showing how you can make a cute backdrop or just how you make your avatar look so unique and specific to you um just we're always being creative and i feel like we're a lot of times we don't really pick up on the fact that that is something that we always have in common being in second life we're all being creative all at the same time all the time in second life in all different types of ways we do so much more in second life than being messy we do so much more in second life than being just out of the ordinary just like being little assholes we do more than that we do more than that it's the panties for me so i just kind of feel like just having all of this creativity it just always puts me in such an awesome mood just to always be around um, creatives, just creative things and creative people within Second Life. Like the, the people who created this land, they're not on this land, but I still feel like I am around them because I get to be around the creativity that they have made with making this land and so it's like they're always the the creative aspect of people in second life is always present and i just feel like it's such a beautiful thing when you think about it because it's not coming from a space of i'm gonna make this land beautiful then i'm gonna stand on this land so everybody can give me compliments people make things and then they just let them be they just they you're gonna do with it what you will you're either gonna use it or you're not. Somebody said, I'm gonna make a bunch of old pumpkins and I'm gonna put them out and people are gonna buy them and they're gonna do with them what they will. They might not have intended for it to go inside of a tractor, but it is, but it is. It could be made with the tractor, I don't know. But it's a beautiful thing and it gives this land such a beautiful touch. It's just creativity all around to be engulfed in creativity the entire time that you're on Second Life. I feel like it's a beautiful thing. And if it doesn't put you guys in a great mood, I don't know what will. Because this is one thing that really, really gets me going in Second Life. is Just being able to explore and just seeing all of the creativity that everyone has. Somebody build a bunch of hay bales and said people, they're going to do with it what they will. They're gonna do with them what they will. And I just really, really love that about Second Life. So yeah, you guys, I'm gonna continue exploring and I will see you guys tomorrow.